Welcome back to Average Joe Bushcraft. Tim here, just finished up the live stream about half an hour ago. Collected up all this firewood here. Uh, all really, really good hardwood. It should burn for a long time. We're gonna test it here and see how long these two pieces burn. And then we'll know how much more firewood we need to collect if we need to collect any more. Uh, this stuff behind this log here is all stuff that still needs to be bucked up before we can add it to the fire pit. And we got a nice little pile of stuff that'll just go right onto the fire pit. Uh, we got a nice little nest of twigs here. These twigs to throw on top. And we got to build a bird's nest. We are making attempt two at lighting a fire with the magnesium and ferro rod. Um, yesterday, if you were saw the day one video, uh, you know that uh, I was unsuccessful and I was exhausted and starving and at the time starving and then I ended up not being able to eat by the time I got it cooked. But just out of it, couldn't get a fire started with the fire steel. I was getting lots of sparks, couldn't get it started. Uh, so I just went to matches. Maybe that'll happen again today, I hope not. I'm hoping to get a fire started with magnesium and fire ferro rod. Today, we shall see what happens, but this is my attempt. So first things first, I collected everything I need to make a bird's nest. So, got lots of nice, Small birch here. We got some dry leaves, just like yesterday. Now this stuff wouldn't take spark yesterday, um, so I got these little punk wood chunks. That I'm thinking maybe if I add these little punk wood chunks, like they'll just break down into sawdust. I'm hoping that'll catch a spark a little bit nicer. Um, some of these pieces are no good. Just go right to that fire. Get some pieces. The little pieces that look like they are look like they're about to fall into sawdust that you can almost break into sawdust. And that's these pieces here. I feel like those will take the spark best. Um, I want to get a little piece of birch here. Some of this softer birch in there. Like this. And rough it up a little bit. Another piece of birch, wrap that around, rough it up, I'm trying to keep it all, all the little roughed up birch chunks inside the bird's nest that I'm building. And a piece of birch over there, like that, like that, let's break our pumpkin in there. I feel like that's gonna, it's almost like sawdust in there and something there's got to catch a spark something here's got to catch a spark and just crush up some leaf to top it off really hoping that this works this time Pull it back over there actually keep that away from the fire more should have that right beside the fire pit like that that there Collect up as much of this as I can off this board. This is essentially my table. I want to keep it clean. All right. Here we go, fam. Wish me luck. Take two. Should be a little bit easier to have the knee pad down this time. Whoa. This is not stable. This is not stable. Okay. Shave some magnesium into there. Give me a good little pile of magnesium. You gotta make sure I don't breathe into this, scatter everything everywhere. There's a good chunk of magnesium in there now. go shoots everything everywhere I wonder if those sparks are showing up on camera I'm getting sparks 
can't get anything to take the sparks though. problem is, is that like when I go to do this I shoot all of my tinder bundle everywhere I just I don't know what I'm doing wrong I guess I'm gonna have to get more practice throwing sparks like crazy but I was throwing sparks like crazy yesterday and it just ends up destroying my bird's nest none of this it's all dry it's all dry it's all small this is why I want to make char cloth and char punk wood it's just so much easier it takes a spark instantly instantly takes a spark Now I think I'm just too far away. I'm just trying to do it. I'm trying to throw sparks without disturbing my bird's nest. And I'm getting, I can see sparks flying down in there. They're not catching anything. They're not catching a goddamn thing. not meant to do this fam it's not meant to be we're gonna have to go to matches again because i don't know what i'm doing wrong i'm gonna have to uh, kind of i guess practice at home try to get this done and try and figure it out figure out what i was doing wrong out here but i have no patience I just want to get this fire started it's not that i have no patience it's that my legs can't do it. Like I'm just out of shape and my, my knees are bad. And I just can't stay in this position. My back, it's all, it's just I'm out of shape. It's all in all a problem with being out of shape. And uh, it's something I want to fix. Part of the whole bushcraft thing, getting in shape. But right now, it's a problem. Get down in there, please. Fire. Cover it with sticks and we should have a nice little twig bundle there for that fire to start working on. And once it gets big enough, once it starts to take over all that fuel that we've got for it, we'll add in those two logs. We'll see how long those logs burn. And that'll tell us whether or not we have the wood for tonight, but it's the fire started again. Sorry, fam. I can't. I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm throwing sparks. Nothing's taking. Birch, that birch should take spark. That punk wood should take spark. Those dry leaves should take spark. I don't get it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I guess it's just a practice thing and I'm going to have to do it when I'm in a more comfortable situation or in better shape. One of the two, but we tried again and uh, we'll try more. I'll see you in a few. All right, fam, here we go. We're ready to cook dinner night two. Um, last night I tried to cook those sausages, it didn't work out. I live streamed and everything, but tonight I figured I wouldn't live stream. I just kind of cooked dinner. Uh, now I have some beans and rice that need to go into that water that's starting to boil there. Uh, so I'm just waiting for that water to boil and then uh, some beans and rice will go in there. And then I'll let that sit and boil until it's done. Um, but the cans, I have two ways to open them. I can use my knife and try and like baton into the can and all the way around. But I believe what's on this shovel right here is a can opener, if I'm not mistaken. So I thought I would try that first and see how that turned out. So let's start on the, actually let's start on the corn. I don't think the tomatoes take as long to cook. But let's see if this is... Indeed, a can opener. 
I don't think it is. I don't think it is. So I don't know what that's for, but it's not for opening cans. Yeah, not for opening cans. So that's not going to work. So what we got to hope is that Tawning the knife will work. Should be clean. Baton. And adjust. Well, we want that can so much more stable. Can needs to be super stable for this. So we'll just see it's it's not though. <laughs> it's trying to tip. I'm gonna go from this side. Go, go in, just turn it. Down it goes. I think my water's starting to boil. I gotta get it. Where are my gloves? What do I do with my gloves? Oh, no, it's bad. That's very bad. What in the... Um, that's not good. I had them a minute ago. Oh, put them on my backpack like a fool. Okay, now that I have my gloves, we get back to business. Oh, that's a good quality tea right there. I didn't even add sugar to it. Didn't even add sugar to it this time. I'm gonna get this. Here, Let's move. Let's go the fire. And I'll put my sleeping pad. I need the gloves to open the can of corn. I'm just gonna need them to grab it. I thought I lost my gloves somehow. That's good. Okay. Back to opening this can. Makes you really appreciate a can opener. That's for sure. Okay. I should have got a camping can opener or something. Just a little something. And if you guys know what that was on the shovel. I thought it was a can opener, apparently not. But if you guys know what that is, let me know in the comments. Cause I have no idea what that is now. I could have swore it was a can opener. Okay, now we've got that done. It should just be a matter of connecting all these dots. Trying to keep my hand out of the way as much as possible. There we go. Leave one connected so I can just open that up. Boom. Whew. Just gonna put that right onto the fire. I'm gonna take the paper off the can first, but then we're gonna just put it right on the fire.
take that paper off. Actually, the paper can't go in there. That can go as well. There. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I hate that log. I just want it to be flat, and it's not. And it bothers me. I just want it to stop flip flopping around. I gotta stop putting that on my sleep mat. My twigs, too. Okay, drop those sticks in all awkwardly instead of putting them in a couple at a time. Gotta kind of get them back in there. And grab my fire poker baton, my multi tool out here. It's been invaluable for me. Okay, that's that. I got another can to open. Gotta open this can of chilies and tomatoes tomatoes and green chilies same thing as before knife in one hand baton in the other find that edge knife out Whoop. I can it's a slow process but it's a process and it gets the job done do you have jagged, horrible edges that look like that look like they'll hurt you? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely you do. Is it the best way to get a can open? Definitely not. But again, does the job slowly but surely. Cut by cut. We got a meal for night two. I already ate my pea meal though, so I don't have that. But it was defrosted, so I couldn't leave it any longer. Let me just dots. One, two more, that lid out of there, watch the edges, boom, Turn back down a little bit, put that onto the fire, oh, <laughs> almost forgot with this one too, oh my god, that smells so good, this is definitely a rebuy, those chilies smell amazing. The chilies in there smell absolutely amazing. Let me get that over there. Crumple up the paper. Throw that in there. Oops. You know what? I'm not going to risk my hands. That's what I have this for. Shove that up in there, hopefully. Somewhere. Along those lines. There we go. That'll hopefully get everything going. Touch that. Right. Now we need to get that beans and rice going because that's going to be amazing. I need gloves for this. Take, take off that lid on that pot. Down. Boiling away. Not a lot of space, not enough space for all the beans and rice. We'll get as much as we can in there. Not a lot of space for really any beans and rice, but I'm going to go around to the other side here and put that in there. Uh, 
definitely don't want to put the whole bag in there. You should be able to tell when it's enough. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. There we go. Yep. About half. Get that little stirry stir stir. Boiling. Put the lid back on. Now we just let that fire die down at this point because everything's just coals. We just want to heat everything up. The tomatoes and the corn already cooked. I don't know if you can see me at all. That might have been just a crotch shot, but tomatoes and corn are already cooked, so they just need to heat up. The beans and rice just needs to rehydrate this basically in that water. So we'll just let the fire die down at this point. And we'll come back when we have finished product. And I'll see you then. Well, fam, it is that time. Time to eat. And I am starving. I'm going to pull these rice and beans off first serve those up serve those rice and beans up first get those as a base in my plate here oh let's see how these turned out that looks pretty damn good fam i'm going to share this with you show the camera this look at that beans and rice Looks amazing. Take that. Oh yeah, that's done. Oh yeah, that's done. Oop, spilling. Put that all in there. Delicious beans and rice, spilling more. Let's not grab the hot lid with some bare hands. You know it's aluminum, it cools off really fast. Put that there for dish duty. Throw these chunks of rice into the fire. The little pieces of rice that I've spilled. Looks like it's got a really nice sauce too. You can hear that canned corn and the canned tomatoes kind of simmering away there. Looking forward to that. So let's pull the corn off first. Tomatoes over because they're just just short of simmering. Um, let's show off this corn, shall we? Oh wait, I'm gonna need my, still gonna need my glove. There's the. Yep. Oh, spilling corn too. That in the fire. So there's a nice can of corn. I gotta put that into the. Put some corn into the. Beans and rice. There we go. Down on that rock there. Okay, and the piece de resistance. Oh, there's my spoon. It's like, where's my spoon? The piece de resistance is these tomatoes and chilies, which I'm going to kind of keep on the side and eat as I need them. But it's munching time, and I am super. Excited. Let's grab this can. Tomatoes. Slide that that way. Open this. Perfect. Hot, hot, hot. But good. Mm, hot, hot. Ooh, the beans got a little bit of a. The beans and rice have a little bit of a spice to them. That's nice. Some tomatoes. Tomato juice. Some tomato juice on there. Oh, that's good right there. Put that there. Take off this glove so I can eat properly. And woo! Poppy pop pop wood. Some popping wood. Oh, I just filled my tarp with dirt as I kicked my foot back to try and sit towards the camera here. 
because I'm on a downward slope. And I didn't think about that when I was placing the camera instead of the camera. Oh, I'm going to have to clean up that tarp again. But I'm super stoked. Let's get into this. Woo, 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 woo. Like it's hot. Put a sip of tea. What the fuck was that? Something just landed on me. It was about to bite me and I flicked it away. That worked out well for me. I really wish I wasn't on a downward slope sitting here like this, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Let me bring this up so this isn't, yeah, there we go. This is super hot. Is there anything I can put in my lap to keep this from burning me? Oh, my gloves. My gloves, I can use them as a warmer. It's gonna be hot, 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 hot to get it there. We're good, look at this. Look at this right here, oh my God. Oh, there's a chili and some tomato and some corn. Rice, beans. Mm, hot. Mm. But delicious. Oh my God. So good. So damn good. There's a lot of heat going on in here, spice wise. The chilies from the tomatoes and chili. The beans and rice themselves. Pull that tea bag out now. There's plenty. Good. And then when I'm done dinner, pull that grate off. I'm going to throw some sticks on there. Hopefully they'll light back up while I go and do dishes. We'll be good to go. But dinner first. Oh, that's hot. The corn was like that. The corn was perfect. I might add some more corn in here. So good. I needed this so bad. All right, I'm gonna finish eating. Then I'm gonna go do dishes. I'm gonna get a fire started. And I'll see you once the fire started. <clears throat> Cause I can't sit and eat like this. Ugh. If you think this dish was good, hit a like on the video and let me know. Well fam, we're pretty much the end of day two, the sun is setting, got a maybe hour, hour and a half of sunlight left. Fire's going, getting that all rip roaring, and then we're just gonna long burn all this stuff. Whatever's left over there, let it burn, there's plenty of wood. I think I'll get through the night this time, no problem. I have way more wood and it's a better wood than last night, so. Last night I was using a lot of punk wood, and this wood is hardwood, so it should burn longer. And hotter, but longer is the more important thing. So we've got that going on. There's not much rest to do around camp. As you can see, I'm kind of set up for the night. I'm in my shorts, bare feet, sleeping bags all set up. The final, <laughs> tonight's final tarp shelter set up. I went through like three of them, I think, after I tore down the uh, survival blanket shelter. I went through three different shelters. This is the one I ended up on. It, it works. It works. It'll do for one more night out here. Um, on a really, really cool note, I was down washing dishes. I don't bring the camera down when I'm washing dishes and doing silly, like just refilling my water bottle. I never bring the camera with me. I just leave it up here. I never think about it. But I went down there to wash my dishes. There's two deer, a doe and a fawn, just standing in the river drinking. And I look down and they look at me. And I'm just like, hi. And they just stood there for a second, but we kind of stood there and stared at each other. And then they took off, the mom took off into the bush. And the, the fawn stood there for a second longer, shook its tail, ran off in the bush. And I was like, oh my God. I can't ask for a better omen for tonight. I think it's going to be a great night, get a good night's sleep. Um, seeing a doe and a fawn in the area, it's very, very good omen for me, I believe because that usually means you don't have predators in the area. When you got a doe and a fawn, if, if there was predators in the area, more than likely that fawn would have got picked off already. So there's a good chance we don't really have any predators in the area. 
And uh, I like that. It makes me, it puts my mind at ease. So I want to share that and I want to kind of close out. I don't know if I'm going to be turning the camera on again tonight. This might be the end of day two. And uh, not much left. I ate dinner. Uh, I have some snacks that I might have. I hung my food bag already because the snacks are just little snacks. I throw their garbage into the fire and burn it. It's done. And uh, water. I might go refill my water one more time. But uh, outside of that, camp's done for the night. So if you enjoyed the videos of day two, um, hit the like button. Let me know that you liked the video. Comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you would think I should do better, the skills I should work on. Uh, what you think I was doing okay at. Uh, let me know in the comments. I want to know. And uh, support the channel by subscribing so you know when new videos come out and you know when I live stream from out here in the bush. So, yeah, it's been a great day. Can't wait to uh, wake up in the morning. And uh, day three, we'll pack up and we'll hike out of here. It was a good, good two days. Good two days. Good first night. I got a good feeling about the second night after seeing the Doe and Fawn. So I'll see you in the morning, fam. Cheers and take care.